What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with a brand new WWE Elite action figure set. And it is on the 2021 WWE Elite Survivor Series wave featuring Bret Hart, Bayley, Hulk Hogan, and Keith Lee. So in today's video, guys, we are running through this full wave. As you guys can see, all of the beautiful imagery of the guys right here. If you want, we can take an individual look at these. We actually did get these from Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS. If you guys would like to go over there and grab those. I think this is going to be a Walmart exclusive wave. If I'm not mistaken, these should be hitting very soon to your local retailers. And I think it is Walmart. I don't I don't think you can get them anywhere else unless you go to Ringside Collectibles. So use promo code MDTOYS if you pick them up from Ringside. But other than that, you're going to have to grab them at Walmart. But let's go ahead and take a front viewing window of all of them, guys. Here is Keith Lee. You guys can see Survivor Series down here, an image of the talent. Nice little nice little Chevron pattern going on right here. Same thing at the top. On the other side, you get an image of the talent there. Nice blue color. Keith Lee, some career stuff. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. rest of the figures in the wave which we're going to review here and then as we go through guys what's very interesting is this hulk hogan is actually going to have seamless or pinless double jointed arms which is going to be great and what our elites are eventually all switch to but there's the hulk hogan it looks immaculate in packaging so i think you guys are going to be pretty excited about that one the next one that we have guys is going to be bailey so you got that right there nice white jacket accessory the bailey figure looks really sick and then we have the pink chair with the survivor series heart right there which looks really sick i know a lot of people have been waiting on on this gear is it going to live up to the hype we're going to have to find out together guys but let's go ahead and crack these guys out of their packaging and review the wwe elite survivor series 2021 wave all right, guys, so here's the full wave out of the packaging. Taking a look at all four of them. Here you have Bret Hart, Keith Lee, Hulk Hogan, and Bailey. Now, overall thoughts on the set, just by looking at it, guys, this is actually a very, very good set. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, first off, the Batman, if you find this full wave at retail, it may all be worth picking up simply because of the accessories. Like, there are, I feel like everybody got a great amount of accessories outside of Keith Lee, but maybe they had to do some budget cuts here and there, and I like that. You still get his entrance vest and the rubber, but compared to everybody else, like, he he definitely gets gypped on it accessories however i think you still get a ton in this wave like the the you know the synopsis of everything looks really good but since we do have four figures to cover we're not going to do the regular you know take a look at one figure and then it's accessories yada yada we're going to go down the line and cover all four of them just straight up so let's go ahead and move this stuff back and we can go ahead and just start off with bailey we'll go to hogan and we'll just work our way down so starting off with bailey guys she does come with a pretty good amount of accessories the first one being this nice white leather jacket which actually has like some cream accents on it and it's very nice quality you know it is cloth like i said so that's always nice to see it does velcro in the front right there and it i want to say it has like some slight patterns going on or maybe yeah i, I want to say it has like a slight tie-dye to it but it's like an off-white and a white tie-dye kind of uh you you won't notice it on camera probably but it looks really good it, it, it's very very nice quality and everything like that which we can always appreciate we also do get a smackdown women's championship and i love the way the smackdown women's championship looks and it seems to be smaller is it smaller surely not I don't think they adjusted the size of the strap. But the Women's Championship does look good. It's like in a more matte color instead of the glossy. I like the way it looks. I don't have any issues with that. The, the Women's Championship is looking really, really nice. She also comes with this helmet accessory or this little headpiece that she did wear at that year's Survivor Series. So if you wanted to put this on the figure, you know, you just kind of plop it over the forehead right here. Pretty sure that's supposed to be even. Uh, maybe it's supposed to go like this. Maybe it's supposed to go like that. I don't know. Whichever way it's supposed to go, you guys can figure it out. But it does fit the head nicely. And then out of the packaging she does come with mic holding hands and she also comes with interchangeable fists which are always great but going down into the head sculpt here i think it's a decent head sculpt not my favorite bailey head sculpt by far but i don't know if i like it more than her other figure or not as far as head sculpt we'll have to do a comparison but the blue gear looks really sick you do get the smackdown armband over there you get the black wrist tape and then you have her bailey tights going around you got the blue black and white very nice going on you get her signature boots which are more of a cream color i thought they were white but they are like a flat cream or something and i I'm just noticing that this boot is backwards so that's pretty good there yeah you see that is that supposed to be like that i don't think so so yeah i got a backwards boot there so there's the straps you guys can see there's the back of the boot and then it's yeah it's totally flipped so i got a bummy boot but it's also printed on there so i, I don't know not a big deal but something worth mentioning there and if you guys wanted to see what her new survivor series figure looks like up next to her elite 80 figure i do believe here is the two and you guys can you know you like the aew gear better or do you like the smack 
Kong gear better. They both look really good. They both have their, one kind of looks baby face and one kind of looks heel. So I guess you could do that if you'd want, but you could also use one for you and that, it, it doesn't really matter, but there is a comparison between the Baileys. They both look good. This is definitely her two best figures she's ever gotten and they're way better than that dead gum terrible network spotlight. So we'll take that all day. Now, if we move forward guys, we're getting into the Hulk Hogan figure. Now, a lot of people probably do not like this head sculpt and I've had mixed reviews on this head sculpt. I will say, I think it looks better in person than it does in, um, you know, in mock images and stuff like that. But I think it, I don't know. I, I think it is a little bit derpy or it, it misses the mark just a little bit. Not a terrible head sculpt or anything like that. He also has like his own custom, you know, uh, like tanned skin tone, which is very cool. I like that they, you know, they went for that, but I don't know how it comes. I don't, I don't know. Like some people are going to say it's realistic. Some are going to say, nah, not a big fan of it, which I can understand both sides. So if you say you like it, you like it. That's cool. But if you don't, I understand that as well. But he comes with the WWF championship, which we've seen multiple times before. Looks really good. You got the blue logo in there. Title looks really nice. So you get two different titles in this full wave. You do get the Hulk rule shirt, which is very nice. It Velcro's on the front so you can rip it in half. And it has the rip holes in the back, which is a very nice touch. That's, that's excellent. So you can take this off. And so you guys can just go ahead and see all the different accessories we're already getting. You also have the headband that comes with the Hulk Hogan. So you have the removable Hulkamania headband. You do get the double jointed arms right here that are pinless. He does have like the defining moments Hulk Hogan chest right here or ab crunch. You got the yellow tights. He is on ball joints. You get a little bit of red stuff on the back there. Red knee pads, tall yellow boots, and he is on ball joints. So the, the figure is going to pose fantastic and I think it does match that era of Hogan really well. It's just the head sculpt kind of throws me off a little bit. I think they missed it just a bit. The image on the side of the packaging right here I think looks much better like if they would have went with that head sculpt but I don't know. It's still a pretty good Hogan and I'm, I'm happy to have another Hogan in the collection so that's nice and I don't know how well these are going to do at retail. Like is this one going to fly off shelves? Probably. Outside of that he does come with interchangeable fists. He comes with mic holding hands and he comes with the you know you can you know the pumping up the crowd listening to the crowd. You know what I'm saying. Moving on to Keith Lee guys this is pretty much a re-release of his Elite 82 figure. Head sculpt looks pretty solid. I think it looks like Keith Lee. I don't have any issues with it. I will say that my ab crunch is like it's kind of loose on the back end like you, you guys can see that it's kind of loose but it like kind of gets tight right there and then when it's fully like it's not loose but it's it's weird I don't even know how to describe it but not the biggest issue there you do have the black elbow pad painted on same interchangeable hands as before you get the thumb hand you get the fist and then you do get the mic holding hands out of the packaging and you do get his entrance vest with the blue color right there with the logo and then bask in my glory on the back we saw that last time with his elite 82 figure I really like these tights the tights are sick AF and the light blue it says Keith Lee in the gold on the back bask in my glory got an image of Keith Lee there the silhouette large knee pads black boots and yeah like dude what is up with that very loose thigh right there my ankles right here are very loose so this figure maybe some QC issues going on with this figure but I really like the figure I know I know how good the Keith Lee figure can pose around so that'll be nice but it is just a repaint but I do like this I do like these tights like this is a very nice gear and if you guys wanted to see what Keith Lee I need to do a comparison with Hulk Hogan as well but there's the Elite 82 Keith Lee you guys can see I did switch out the knee pads there but this is a repaint or a re-release of the Elite 82 Keith Lee and I'm just now noticing they pretty much come with the exact same entrance jacket I didn't even notice that so yeah but yeah there is your Keith Lee figure comparisons and then going back to our Hulk Hogan figure comparisons guys here is the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan up next to the Survivor Series Elite and you guys can see the difference there in the skin tones this is more of a realistic skin tone this is more of that you know that really tan skin tone that Hulk Hogan had during that era there and he you could have used it on this as well I don't know if they're gonna flip back and forth or if they're going forward with this one but it's definitely I, I don't know again you're gonna have your gripes for it or against it let me know down below if you guys appreciate that or if you guys would rather have a more realistic skin tone or if you guys like the overdone super tan look or the Hulk Hogan let me know down in the comment section below but there's your Hollywood Hogan versus other Hogan and then the last figure that we have in the set guys is going to be the Bret Hart and getting into the Bret Hart I know a lot of people do not like this head sculpt I'm probably there with you I'm just not I'm not the biggest fan of the head sculpt Bret Hart head sculpts it's like they never can capture it quite right but the hair is pushed back it's not in the face but you can't see his ears so I don't know how people feel about that I feel like a lot of people don't like when the hair is in the face but some people do so I don't know but going down into the singlet beautiful looking colors you got the orange the pink the black you get the hitman logos going down to the pants you get the same patterns going on all around very beautiful gear a lot of people have been waiting on this gear for a while you have the black knee pads with the signature Bret Hart boots he's got the pink wrist tape on there black elbow pads my joints are very good on this figure I was kind of worried but adding another Bret Hart to the collection is
is very nice. I think I've had multiple Bret Hart's, but I end up selling them. But I actually have held on to my last few that I have gotten, so we can compare those. And the ones that I have here is the Ultimate Edition and then the WCW 2-pack with Goldberg. So let me know which one you guys like the most. See, like, do you like the hair like that, or do you guys like the hair more like that? I want to say, I don't know if I put one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts over here. I want to say I did, but I like this head sculpt for Brett, even though he kind of looks a little bit old. But I don't know. The, like, salmon color of this is very weird. Everybody was kind of weirded out by that, but I don't know. There's all the, the Bret Hart comparisons for you. And then we do have his accessories. And for his accessories, he actually comes with a decent amount. You do get the pink folding chair, which is always beautiful to see. Very nice, hot, hot pink color. We've seen multiple chairs in the past. He also comes with sunglasses or his rays, and you can just port this over the eyes like so. And they do have a nice glossy black going to them, so they look nice there. And then for interchangeable hands, he comes with the mic holding hands right here. And then he also comes with his rock star hands. So you get the rock star hands, the mic holding hands, and then you have the entrance sort of like what's what's going on, Brad, hands there. So, but that pretty much covers our Bret Hart figure comparisons and the rest of the figures in the wave. But that pretty much wraps up our full Survivor Series Elite WWE set, guys. I think overall, again, it's a very outstanding set. Tons of stuff that you get in this full wave. They should be hitting Walmart very soon. If you guys don't want to wait on Walmart, again, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I think you get a lot of great things going on. You know, in these different store exclusive waves, a lot of it is repaints and stuff, which is what you get in this. However, you get some different alternative looks. You may can uh, pick up some elites that you may have missed out on, on otherwise. You know, if they re-release a figure with a different scheme and, you know, that figure may be shot up in price now, that is a good way to get in on those. But that pretty much wraps up my review on this full wave, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Survivor Series wave down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel. I'm getting out of here, guys. And don't cross the line like COVID when it took me out for a week. You cross